multicultural society. People have different appearances, languages, religions, and possessions. The remains are part of this thriving city found right here. And, by carefully piecing together all of the archaeological evidence and what we know of the Mediterranean and the Red Sea, it is possible that all the trade and this one made their way to Europe to settle the land. Slaves may have come to Europe from Dublin and elsewhere, bringing with them the spoil of their land to battle for Slaves are an important part of society for all places, scrapes and bone bones. Making a farm of an anchor could be very time consuming, but the ones found here are made from many pieces riveted together and then decorated. We know that the Vikings like to keep themselves in these older houses were built from poles and water and had third floors and thatched rooms. Most of these houses went out of use in the middle of the 10th century when they were replaced by the old plant buildings that we'll talk about later. These early houses were built end on to the streets and had long backyards so it would have been a great way to turn household waste into meat. All that they make everything from the new building to beautifully ornate houses. Children may have used the speed train. By the way, it's this train that many think gave its name to Copenhagen, the street of the Copenhagen. They're going to be used to move this building. Looks like the buildings are having the rest of Yeah. But then you 